Hi, I'm Dr. Sadie Thomas Unsworth. And I'm Dr. Charlotte Hibbard. And I'm Dr. Charlotte Meller. We work in the paediatric palliative care and bereavement support team at Bristol Children's Hospital. We've made this short video for parents and other family members of children with life-limiting conditions. In this video, there will be some information about healthcare in the context of COVID-19, guided by questions asked by the families we work with. We will also provide some advice about looking after yourselves at this time. We hope you'll find this helpful. We are living through a time like no other, and it's a time of extremes. From the welcome extremes of love and care we're seeing being displayed within families, friendship groups, and healthcare services, to the more difficult extremes of uncertainty, change, and feeling not in control of the things happening around us. For many children with life-limiting conditions and their loved ones, these more challenging feelings of loss of control and uncertainty are not unfamiliar. But in the context of COVID-19, many families are sharing with us that these feelings are more troublesome than usual. Parents and carers are sharing with us worries about what will happen if their child or someone else in the family were to contract COVID-19 and how this might impact on their child's medical care. These are really understandable concerns and questions that we will hopefully be able to provide some information about. Although we would also recommend speaking directly to your treating team if you have specific concerns or queries about your own situation. Thankfully, we know that in the main, COVID-19 is not expected to cause children to become very unwell. We are, however, needing to deliver healthcare in a way that is different to usual in order to minimise face-to-face -face contact and to try to keep everyone as safe as possible. It is really important that despite these changes, you continue to trust your knowledge of your child's needs as you know your child best. If you are worried about your child, please seek advice as you would do in normal circumstances from 111, your child's GP, or your child's community or hospital-based teams, and call 999 in an emergency as you usually would. The Bristol-based teams who provide support for children with life-limiting conditions, the Lifetime Service, Jessie May Trust, Charlton Farm Children's Hospice and Bristol Children's Hospital are working together to coordinate the support we offer to you at this challenging time. Please do not hesitate to contact us for advice or support. As well as specific concerns about your child's health in the context of COVID-19, you may find you are affected by broader concerns about the pandemic and the changes it's brought to your life and those you love. As a parent of a child with a life-threatening condition, you are probably already pretty expert in managing uncertainty. In fact, you may feel that your experiences have set you up to cope with this and that you have the strategies and resources you need. Equally, you may find that you are really struggling with thoughts and feelings at the moment. You may be finding it hard to sleep or concentrate or find yourself feeling tearful or irritable. You are having to make an enormous adjustment at the moment. It takes time to find new ways of living and often in the process we can struggle with thoughts and feelings that can feel really overwhelming and hard to manage. We're going to talk through some ideas and strategies which you may find helpful in managing some of those thoughts and feelings and looking after yourself at this time. When a boat is caught up in a big storm, it keeps itself safe in the harbour by dropping an anchor. This doesn't stop the storm happening around it, but it holds the boat steady and prevents it from being swept away. Similarly, when we are surrounded by a storm of emotions, as many people are currently, we may feel at risk of being swept away by those feelings. However, there are ways we can learn to drop our own anchor and keep ourselves steady and focused on the here and now in the storm of emotion. There are three main steps to follow when we are dropping anchor, and these can be summarised by the acronym ACE. Firstly, we acknowledge our inner experiences. By this, we mean gently and curiously becoming aware of what's happening inside our minds and bodies. This might be thoughts, emotional feelings, physical feelings or memories. This isn't about judging or analysing how you're thinking and feeling, but simply about developing awareness of these experiences. As you're becoming more aware, try to also come back into your body. Connecting with and purposefully moving your physical body is a really effective way of starting to bring your focus into the present moment, rather than getting caught up in those tricky thoughts. Some ways of doing this can include slowly pushing your feet hard into the floor, slowly pressing your fingertips together, or consciously and gently controlling your breathing. 
after acknowledging your internal experiences and coming back into your body, try to broaden your present moment focus by attending to where you are and then engage in what you're doing. Some ideas for helping you to refocus on your surroundings include look around the room and notice five things you can see or notice all the sounds there are around you. As you end this exercise, Bring your attention back to the thing you're doing in this moment, whether it's preparing your child's lunch, having a conversation, or doing the food shop. If you weren't doing anything at the time the emotional storm struck, maybe pick an activity aimed to nourish and soothe yourself, like having a cup of tea, looking at a photo of a joyful time, or opening the window and breathing in the fresh air. You'll probably need to practice this exercise a number of times to figure out how it works best for you. There's loads of ways to drop anchor. So be playful and curious about what comes up as you practice it more and more. Alongside trying specific strategies like dropping anchor, when you notice yourself getting swept away by thoughts, there are things we can do more generally to take care of ourselves during this extraordinary time. Sometimes it can feel strange or uncomfortable to think about looking after our own needs, especially if we're used to caring for somebody else. However, it's so important to keep yourself well to enable you to look after your child the best way you can. If you've been on an aeroplane, you will have heard the message that in an emergency, you must put on your own oxygen mask before you put on anybody else's. Self-kindness is like our own everyday version of that oxygen mask. If we aren't sufficiently rested and cared for, it's very hard to give the care we want to consistently. We can show self-kindness through both doing and thinking compassionately. Sometimes if we notice we are being unkind to ourselves and thinking things like, I'm not doing enough to keep my child safe, or I'm failing at this, we can ask what we would say to a friend in the same situation and give ourselves that advice. I'm guessing it would be an awful lot kinder than the things you typically say to yourself. It can be so very hard to find time for yourself as a parent, but particularly if your child has additional needs. But even trying just tiny things like having a cup of tea and really taking the time to notice how it smells and tastes. Listening to a funny podcast or calling a friend can really help. Essentially, doing anything that brings a sense of joy or calm, even if only for a moment, is worth doing. When you spend a lot of time caring for others, it can be really easy to forget about yourself. But you really do matter too. This is an unthinkably difficult time. And it really is okay not to feel okay right now. Hopefully the advice shared in this video will have gone some way towards supporting you through this extraordinary time. If you feel that you'd benefit from some additional help or support, there are lots of organizations out there and we would really encourage you to contact them.